Hello Sagittarius, it is CJ here. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a part of our family. I'm giggling a little bit because Sag, something just really weird happened to me when I just did your reading. Um, first of all, it is May 16th, 2024, and um, the reading is timeless as usual. And it's a general reading, one to one, but as you can see, there's already cards out here. Um, so first of all, what happened was, is I was just wrapping up your reading and um, I happened to look over at my laptop and all of a sudden it had stopped recording. It was recording before. It's interesting because of what this the reading was about. So I have decided, I don't think this has ever happened, um, I've decided to leave the cards and we're just gonna go through this reading. So before we get into that, remember it is timeless. Um, I was speaking of having um, this feeling that it's gonna be probably something that happens maybe around that full moon in your sign, which is on the 23rd of May, I believe, next Thursday, a week from now. Um, I also, when I was meditating on your energy, so we're just going to kind of act as if this is, you know, <laughs> we're just going to go right through it because it feels like an important message. It might not be for everyone, but um, I don't believe in coincidences. So um, first of all, when I was meditating on your energy off camera, um, I had gotten this vision and it felt really beautiful. I do not live near the ocean, nor do I have palm trees where I am, but the image I had gotten was like, I could see like dolphins like playing, like swimming, playing in the ocean. Um, there was palm trees around, there was a nice breeze. The message that was coming through was this desire for you. Um, I don't think most of you are there, but this desire of wanting to have this beautiful energy, to be able to live your life in peace and harmony. Um, and just kind of the, also the feeling of you getting frustrated that things weren't happening for you. Um, so that's what I started off with saying. Um, and then we, I went into my spirit animal deck um, and we got a couple of cards, right? Now, obviously this is gonna be a short version because normally we look at the bottom of the deck. I don't remember what was on the bottom of the decks when I was checking at the foundation. So we're just gonna start right from here. All right, Sag, I love you. Thank you so much for all your beautiful support and your love for me and support for each other. Um, we're gonna get right into this. So going off that energy that I was picking up, it was like there was a block. There was something going on in your life that felt like it kept stopping you from reaching that position of happiness, of true joy. Um, my guides gave me the feeling of like when I, which has been a very long time since I've been on a holiday, um, but they gave me that feeling of holiday mode. You know, like if you've ever been able to go somewhere for, for seven days and maybe if you're lucky for 14 days, where you kind of just get into this groove, you kind of forget about normal life um, and it just feels free, right? But yet there seemed to be this hiccup. There seemed to be something that was not closing. So when I went into my spirit animal deck, the two cards that we got, first one, this was the card that flew out. It was the horse spirit, um, which is freedom is yours. It's number 33, so it's threes and sixes when you add that up. Threes, we're gonna just, I'm gonna go through this. I, like I said, and bear with me because this doesn't happen, <laughs> but it happened today. Um, so threes are about you getting into alignment, right? With your heart, your mind, your soul, all the things that make you your special, beautiful self coming into that and where things then start to really happen for you, like the magic in the air. It's a 33, so it's a six. Sixes are that beautiful energy of what you've been putting out, finally being able to receive it. You are half horse, you know, you're the archer. So it's very um, connected to your energy that the horse card came out saying freedom is yours. But I was getting this feeling that it's not yours yet. There's still this hurdle. There's still this thing that has to be removed out of your life. On the bottom of the deck, the card that showed up was the dove spirit, which is all about peace, finding peace, being peace. It's also number 21. So again, it's another three. Um, so it felt really positive and it, and it is, but there is a little bit of a warning here and that's why I am not redoing this reading. Um, so we're just gonna go through it. Dove means you're going to be in peace. You're gonna find peace because I feel right now at this time, there isn't peace. I feel like the nine of swords kept showing up and actually it is here, but it showed up in my fountain deck as well. It showed up a couple times when we were um, shuffling the cards. The Nine of Swords talks about that energy of being really stressed out, you know? It's the cerebral energy. It's what goes on in our mind, our communication, the things we think, the things other people think and say, right, and do. Um, so it was just letting me know that there's a situation here, if this is your reading, because it's a general, not a one-to-one, -one, it's not gonna be for everyone. Um, and in fact, this might only be for a few of you, but I'm still gonna post it for the, the reading <coughs> for today. Um, 
this energy of not being able to kind of break away, wanting a cycle to end, but it's but something holding it, holding on to the cycle, trying to keep it going. Not you, something else. I truly felt like it was another person involved here. It could be maybe more. Um, could be about work, but I wasn't really getting that. I was really getting it more about the family, the home, um, because the Ten of Pentacles kept showing up. Now, pe Ten of Pentacles is that energy, right? It can talk about inheritance. Obviously, it can be a lot of money and resources where you do have all that freedom. I felt like that was coming towards you, but I felt like there was something getting in the way. So when I went into my good tarot, um, which I've already put the deck, where's the deck right over here? Um, the first card that flew out was the four of air, which is four of swords. Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, you might be dealing with someone that has that sign. Four of swords was just confirming to me that you're exhausted. Um, it is that card of rest recuperation, right? After a painful situation or a painful journey. Um, so the four of swords with spirit coming through to say you just need to really make sure you're at top game where you are, um, your, where your mind is seen clearly. The energy I was picking up is that I felt like there was like this, um, uh, I'll use the word sabotager. I mean, it kind of pisses me off that this happened because the messages that were coming through and as I'm in channel mode, I don't remember it all. I'm going to try and do the best that I can, but kind of pisses me off that it happened, but I'm not surprised because the energy that was coming through of the other person or the other people or the situation on the other side don't think they want to break free from you. That's what I was feeling. So the Four of Swords, again, this is just taking your time to get as strong as you can. Mentally, can be physically as well, right? The next card that came out was the Star card, <clears throat> Major Arcana. And um, it was like, knowing that, I just got to recall because I remember, <coughs> excuse me, um, Scorpio's card came out, which was a transformation card. So death, rebirth. Um, and now I'm drawing a blank of what other, the other card was because it felt like you are in the stage where you know that there's a cycle that needs to be closed. You know it needs to be done. It doesn't feel healthy anymore. It doesn't work for you anymore. I think it's drained the hell out of you. Um, and in some ways, I feel like someone else has been taking complete advantage of your kindness, of your ability to handle a lot. Um, and so this other energy didn't, doesn't want you to break free from it but you are breaking free. And that was a big message coming through is that spirit was like wanting me to remind you that you're just in the process and what's coming towards you is going to be so much better than where you are or where you have been. The star showing up, Aquarius's card, was spirit's way of saying there's healing that needs to happen. There's this release that needs to happen so that you can have renewal, so that you can start again. Please remember the star also represents wish fulfillment. So it felt like on your journey right now, the energy that's coming towards you and that you are matching, meaning you focusing on manifesting what you're wanting, is coming true. So what you've been wanting, whatever that is, it feels like it's around the corner. We have the page of water next. Water is our cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's the energy of our emotions, our relationships, you know, the things that we feel deeply, our heart, our heart energy, right? Our heart center. And pages are about a new beginning. So as we move through it, there's this new beginning coming towards you. Um, it really sucks having to repeat this, but I got to give it because I don't know who it's for. So if it's not yours, please just move along. <laughs> but the page of water felt like there's this new start for you where a lot of love and a lot of happiness is truly coming towards you and you're going to be on this new path. But I have to say that Nine of Swords, okay, thank you, Spirit, it's still here. The Nine of Swords that came out at the very beginning was letting me know how, how much stress you've been under. And I could feel the heaviness of what you've been carrying. Ironically, because I haven't shuffled anything, I just, when I realized the camera shut off, I was like, okay, I, we're just going to go through this card by card. But that transformation card, that is Scorpio's card that came out. This is about a new beginning coming your way, whether you see it or not. Um, but it is coming. Okay, so this is probably going to be short and sweet. So Sag, the next card that came out was the sun. Leo's card. Beautiful, po positive energy. The sun represents that freedom. It represents the happiness and the joy. It represents that feeling of like when you are on holidays and there's not really worries anymore, where you can really indulge and appreciate and be in the moment. 
The sun coming is saying that there's something that is going to start to really show up for you. The image my guides gave me, and I do remember this when I was talking about the, stop, the sun, was the sun rising. And if you are fortunate enough to live somewhere where you can actually see the sun rise, you know, if you're by an ocean or something like that, um, how the sun rises is what's coming towards you. It may be slow at the very beginning, but it's going to very much pick up speed and you're going to have that beautiful warmth and blessings upon you. The next card that came out was the King of Fire. So Sag, I read that as you, especially when I'm doing your readings. Could be a Leo or an Aries, but King of Wands is that determination. This is all starting to happen for you because you never gave up and because even no matter how tough it has been, how much people have taken advantage of you, because that was a big thing coming through, that your determination to not quit and to stand firm and to keep going pays off. So, you know, we have the King of, of Fire. Now, look at this card. The sun, the sunflower, is behind, behind, right, right behind the head. And there's a beautiful heart right there in the center. Okay, so we kept going. So I asked Spirit, give me some more details on this Four of Swords, right? What is that about? And the Seven of Coins came out. So our Earth energy, that is Taurus, Virgo, and um, Capricorn, this came out. So this is an energy that you've been really doing some deep soul searching. You've been really contemplating. That whole energy of like, are you? have you been happy with what you've been getting in return for what you've been giving? Because I know you, Sag, you give a lot and you tolerate a lot. Not that you're a pushover, but you have that big heart. And you, as much and as strong as you are, there are other energies in this world that will take. So Spirit gave me this whole thing about, um, let me try and rephrase it. You know, there's people in this world, there's energy in this world, that do they're missing that sensitivity chip that's how my guides put it sensitivity chip there's they're, they're missing it and what that means is no matter what my guides were saying to give to you is that if there's people around you that seem to be missing the sensitivity chip meaning they're very self-centered meaning the only thing the only time that they're there for you is if it affects them um let me just think a little bit more of what spirit was giving me <laughs> excuse me um you know, they'll be nice to you when you have something that they want. But when you don't have something that they want, they're, they, they, they never give you anything in return. The sensitivity chip has been moved and what, removed. And what Spirit was saying to me is that no matter how much you give and how much you extend, no matter how much you tolerate from these kind of people or this kind of soul energy, it can never be fixed because they literally almost like are born without it. That's how my guys are giving it to me. And so with that, it's like you are on this journey moving forward where they were saying this book is closing and there's a brand new one that's going to open that's going to be for you um, without this other person or people. Again, it felt more family. It could be an ex-lover. It could be a lover. It could be um, a family member. It didn't feel so much like work, although I guess for some of you, it could be leaving work and they're not wanting you to because there was this energy of them wanting to hold on to you um, and hold on to what you give. Here we have this beautiful energy of where spirit is taking you and where you are matching the energy of the universe. Down here, there's this energy of the other, I think they gave me the word adver, adver what was the word, adversity, you know, um, that they didn't, they, they're not gonna be happy. Um, but when we move back here, so this the seven of coins, you're really thinking and contemplating things. The next card that came out underneath the star was the ten of wands. Again, this is that energy of it's done. The journey, the path that you've been on, all the bricks that you've been carrying on your shoulders, all that energy that you've been putting out and getting nothing in return, it's coming to an end, right? Followed by the Four of Wands, which is your energy again, Leo and Aries, but this is celebration. Being able to break free from this and being able to celebrate. Now, the interesting thing I found was when this card came out, this is my fountain deck, by the way, this is an ocean. <laughs> There's people on a beach. So it went with the image I had gotten off camera, right? First time recording when it didn't work. Something to celebrate. This can also indicate that moving forward, if this was about like some person that you're in a romantic relationship with, that you are breaking free from that and you are being blessed and abundance is coming your way. But not only that, there could be new love coming towards you as well because the four of wands can be the marriage card. 
The final card that Spirit gave for you was the Ace of Wands. This is a beautiful new beginning that is on the horizon for you. A new start, a new way to move through life, a new, and leaving really whatever has been holding you back behind, right? You know, when the Ace of Wands shows up, it is the yes card, the move me, moving forward energy. Being able to do the things that light you up, that are your passions, that are your creativity. The thing is, is that whatever this other energy, and I really felt like it was another person, they're not happy about it. They're not happy about it because when I asked if they could give me some detail about the other person or people, could be a situation, as I said, Sag, I don't know because it's a general reading. The Four of Cups came out, the Moon came out, the Four of Pentacles came out, um, and the Two of Wands was on the bottom of the deck, if I remember correctly. This is my fountain deck. So it was interesting because I really was like, okay, Spirit, this is the other person or people that are involved. They're bored, they're stagnant, they're stuck. They don't give, right? The Four of Pentacles is they're not giving. They take and they hold on to what is theirs, but they're not generous at all. Um, there was definitely a user vibe coming in. There was definitely a manipulative energy coming in. And yet you have stood your ground and stood in your grace and your integrity along this whole path, no matter how hard it has gotten. When the moon showed up, though, this is Major Arcana as well, and it's Pisces card. I don't always get this with the moon, right? The moon is like things that we can't see. It can be our unconscious or subconscious, um, you know, because it's not as illuminating as the sun is. But sometimes I get a warning. And this time in your reading, I got a warning. I got the warning for the moon. Um, so I pulled two cards on the moon and the Queen of Pentacles came out with the Ace of Swords. On the bottom, this is just my traditional deck, the Nine of Swords was here again which I feel is representing the other parties involved, party, parties involved, with the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, the Magician, and the Seven of Wands. This is the energy of the other person. Now, why is this important? It's important because there is this new, beautiful, lighting, light, light freedom, peaceful, happiness energy that I do believe the divine God source, whatever you whatever you believe in, along with your beautiful heart and your beautiful ability to continue to focus on what you're wanting to bring into your life, it's it's meeting. But this other entity, this other energy, I can't even believe they just gave me that word entity. Mm. Um, they don't want to lose you. I don't think it's about love. I think it's about control. I think the other person or people involved here. They like being able to rely on you. They like being able to take from you. They do not have the capability as you have. And it's like this, oh, the energy that I was feeling was like, they may try to do things to hold you back. In fact, I think that that's exactly what's been going on. And with that 10 of wands, my guys, which I always say, they don't normally give me time frames. But I did say it, that it might even be at 10 years of this that's been going on. And the more that they're seeing that you are moving forward, the more that they are going to try to stop you because they do not want the world to end. They don't want the cycle to end. So they're having sleepless nights. They're having stress. There's worry. There's probably a hell of a lot of confusion in this person's mind too because I don't think they ever think clearly. What do I mean by that? Um... What I mean is, is I think that they're not, they're just not intentional people. They're, they're, um, they're the people that make decision and you're the one that has to clean up for it. They're the people that you, they, they oh, rely on you. Oh, hey, Sag, can you do this for me? Cause this happened. Get in the image of a car breaking down right now. Hey, Sag, my car broke down. Can you come and help me? Can you do this? Can you do that? Um, can I need a new car? And you be like, okay, well, why don't we go look and get this cheaper car that's in a good shape? Just using this as an example. And they're like, oh no, I'd rather get this one that's more money. But then, so they don't listen to you. They go get that car, that car blows up. And then they're back going, oh, Saggy, can you help me? You're right, you're right, I should have listened to you. But they're not genuine, they're disingenuous. Okay, thank you, Spirit, that's the word. But they're having anxiety about this. They're also trying to pretend that they're the victim. They're trying to pretend that they're the ones that have been wounded. They're the ones, oh, Sag, you don't know what I've gone through. You don't know how hard everything's been. Yeah, it's manipulation. They're trying 
you know, the magician. I love the magician energy. But even the lower vibrational energies in this world can have power, right? Um, you know, the law of attraction says what you focus on is what you, what you receive. Um, and even if it is someone that's trying to do something that's not positive towards you, you know, there's still power in that. I don't, I don't like to focus on that. But if they're trying to use it, they're trying to be a player, but they're also trying to protect themselves. They're also trying to say, oh no, like oh, I'm just so, you know, I'm the good person here. I'm the one that's doing the right things, but in fact, they're not. And they don't, they're doing this all because they're not wanting the cycle to close. And the funniest part of that is that your card came next, temperance. It's like spirit is saying they're not going to get away with this. And also I have to say the seven of swords, that's right, I forgot. The spirit just gave me the card in my mind um, here and it was the seven of swords in my fountain deck. The seven of swords came out and I asked spirit about that seven of swords and it was wild because sometimes, you know, there's really two ways I read the seven of swords. At times the seven of swords can be an energy that we utilize um, in the way of like, you don't want to reveal something until it's ready, right? Um, I'll use the, the example of writing a book but not telling anyone that you're writing the book until you finally get it published. And then you, when you get it published, you're like, okay, I, you know, I did this. It's not a sabotage energy. It's just kind of you keeping it to yourself because you don't want to disappoint anyone or, you know, you don't want that pressure. It can be that way. But this, in this reading in particular, that seven of swords was coming out really saying that there's someone playing games and they think that they're smart. And in some ways, Sag, they are, they are smart, not clear in the mind, but they're smart in the way that they can, that they can actually convince people, you know, that the sky is green. They have that gift. Um, and it's not, it's not great for anyone around them, but they have that ability. Um, they're the kind of people that can do something so horribly wrong to you. And you can have the actual evidence in front of them. And somehow, by some kind of lower vibration, they can turn it around that it's you're the problem, not them. That's what I'm talking about here. So that's why I've, I've, I've decided to do this. Like I said, I never do this before when cards, no, this doesn't happen. But I had to get it out there because there's someone out there that this is your reading. And I want to give you that heads up. And my guys are, are saying, do it. So here's the thing. When I ask what this is about and um, the warning, what is the warning from the moon? Well, the queen of pentacles showed up. So this is typically a beautiful energy of security, you know, um, uh, nurturing, right? She's very nurturing, a lot of resources, meaning a lot of money. But in this reading, I feel be mindful that they may try to offer you the moon to keep you stuck. Okay. Because in this card, this is traditional tarot, <coughs> my traditional tarot deck. There's a bunny down here, you know, she's holding this pinnacle. But the way that my the energy I was picking up from my guides was like, <clears throat> they may turn on the sugar, okay? They may turn on the sugar. They make me some false promises. Whatever it is, I'm advising you to see them with a clear clear eyes because the Ace of Swords came out with that as well. As we know, swords, this is everything that goes on in our mind, right? Up in our brain, it's our cerebral energy. The ace of the swords represent the sword of truth. This is the sword of truth. And it is, it felt like spirit was saying, oh, use that sword to even shine. Because, you know, swords are shining. To allow that sun to hit that, that sword to shine the truth on what is going on here. Because, because I feel if you are not able to do that, somehow they're still going to keep the clutches on you. Um, after your card, after the temperance card came out, we had the justice card. So this is Libra's card. And this is all about justice being served, right? Again, it's air, it's, it's the, the balance. Um, the scales are always perfectly balanced. And when something is out of whack in our vibration, in the frequency, in how or the journey we're on, eventually this always shows up because it has to be righted. This has been wrong for a long time. So it's like the universe is coming in and they're letting you know that beautiful things are coming towards you, things that you deserve, things that you've been wanting, that you have earned. This is something that's gonna be cut out, um, but to be much aware that, that there may be a sob story, there may be begging, there may be 
well, you know, you know that stuff. And I feel if this is your reading, Sag, you'll know that the other person slash people, that they're not genuine. They're not genuine. It's because they're trying to save their own ass. Okay. Um, that's where we left off. Now, remember, you have the horse, which is freedom is yours. And you have the dove, which is peace. Because I feel like however you've been living, however this may be, it could even be a freaking neighbor, for goodness sake, I guess. Because it is around our homes, right? Apartments or whatever, wherever we live. Um, this It is time to regain your freedom and your peace. Because I feel definitely, without a doubt, you have not, it has not been peaceful. Um, it feels like you're cleaning up one thing after another. And it feels like you you are seeing clearly now in the way of knowing what you want and knowing that what you don't want and this is not what you want. You can't carry this anymore. And Spirit is saying, you don't need to carry this anymore. Just stay on target. Stay true to yourself. Stay true in your grace and it will be coming towards you. But again, this was that whole thing of like, there's someone that does not want to let you go. Not because it's love, but because of what you can do for them. Okay? So that's when I realized, and I, this is much shorter because I think that one was going to go, uh, who knows? Because it, obviously it just stopped. And that's what I found crazy is that in all the times I've been doing this reading, my camera doesn't shut off. I did not shut it off. Um, my mouse is way over here. The cards are over here. No, you can't see that because the camera's facing me. It felt, and the devil did not come out, which is interesting, but it felt like that kind of devilish, controlling energy, resistance to you having your own life, major resistance to you being happy. Like it, uh, it felt not so great, but where you're going, it felt really wonderful. Okay. So now I don't know where to go. I'm just going to kind of tune into my spirit guides and see if they want me to pull anything else he out here. Um, and let's see, but I hope that this makes sense to those of you that this is your reading because it felt really important. Otherwise, I would not have done this. Um, so let's just see. I'm going to go back to my treasure, treasures. Oh, maybe they want me to go to treasures. I don't know. Um, but let's go into the traditional and I'm going to go one more time to see if anything else wants to come out here. Where you are headed is so lovely. Like it's so wonderful. But it's like time to get rid of the slum. Time to get rid of the, what is this word you're saying? Sludge, the sludge, the, time to get rid of the sludge, time to move away from it. Okay. All right, spirit. So I'm going to use this deck. Um, again, that was the one with the nine of wands, nine of swords, the magician, the seven of wands and the world. And then your beautiful card, a temperance and justice. Okay. And there's the sun again. I didn't even realize. Where was it? The sun again. Okay. All right, Sag, so this is just a heads up, okay? All right, Spirit, thank you so much for guiding me. Is there any final message you have for Sagittarius? Um, and then we'll close this reading off. Anything else? Anything else for Sagittarius that you would like them to know? Oh, and there was a five of wands that showed up too, and I just don't remember where, um, which may, it made sense because they just giving, they just showed it to me in my mind's eye. Often they'll give me the little snap picture. Um the sun where I stop again, like they're going to try and fight you on it. They might be very dramatic. Okay. And I feel like whoever this is, they are very dramatic. Um, I don't know how to put that, but dramatic to the point where they'll make the smallest thing feel like, Oh my God, you just, like the world's falling down. The sky is falling when it's, you know, just a little windy out or something. That's the kind of energy I was picking up, but I'm telling you, the sun keeps showing up. So it's shining on you. Beautiful Sag. Okay. Did you see that? It just came out again with the Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh. And the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit. So again, Spirit's just confirming. You have a brand new beginning to head on. A new path to go down. You got the Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. This is going to be, your heart is going to be so full of all the good things that this world has to offer. With the sun, dare I say again, that is going to be light, joyful, happiness, Sag. And we have the Wheel of Fortune. And I do feel that this is now moving for you. No longer stuck. No longer where the other person or people involved are trying to keep you down. No, no, no. This is turning in your favor now. 
We even have the Queen of Swords next. Again, using that sword, I call bullshit, I call bullshit, I call lies, and I'm not taking it anymore. Severing the tie. Okay, wow. All right, even that part just get, that came out was like, okay, spirit, I got you. Sag, I really hope that this helped you. Um, where should we go now? Let's go to Moonology. Let's just see. I want to see if there's any piece of advice that spirit can give you. For those of you that this is your reading, we have to take a breath on the bottom <clears throat> yeah that's what I feel you need because I almost feel like you've been in this circumstance in this situation it feels like you almost have to hold your breath sometimes like oh my god what now what now you know that feeling using your knowledge drawing down the moon give me a second yeah okay they're connecting it to the moon card here you are wise. Use the knowledge of what you know of this person, people, and act accordingly. You have all the information you need to make the right choices here. Oh, and, be, and also, as I say about the two of wands with the other person, people involved, this was on the bottom of the deck. You know, the world is in that, in that hand. You see? Do you see that? Well, hopefully you can see it. It's, not, it's pretty light in this deck. But the, the world is represented here by the world. See, this person does not want this cycle to close out. Okay, so let's see. I want to see one more. Oh, moon set releasing. It's time to release this. Not that I feel you are holding on, but I feel like it's time to like, again, I feel like this is you releasing everything and moving forward. Reach for the moon. Go for it. Okay. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much. All right, moonology messages. Is there any guidance you can offer Sag? Those that this is their reading, although it'd be a bit strange. Um, is what it is. Any piece of advice or guidance you can offer? Oh, that one went in. Okay. Okay, what do we have? That flipped up. Wow, releasing blocks. And in fact, I would agree with this card because this feels like one big block that this person or people have continually put in front of you so that you couldn't move. No more. It's being released. And then we have courage on the bottom. Blood moon. But Sag, you are courageous. This is just one final thing. Because some of you might be moving, right? Some of you might have to sell where you live. You might have to move. Um, however that might be. And however long this has been going on, it's going to take courage. But you know what? You are courageous and you've got this. Look at what is waiting for you. So I think that's where we're going to close your reading off. As crazy as it was, right? Um, but for those of you that this is your reading, I really, truly hope it helped. I hope it gave you some insight moving forward. Um, stay on your path. Follow your heart. Listen to that gorgeous intuition of you, of yours. Um, it's time, right? Remember that they're missing the sensitivity chip, meaning there's not a thing you can do in this world to bring that out of them. They're not capable. They're incapable of thinking of anyone else. They are whatever label you want to put on it. But um, it's not an energy I would want to have around. So Sag, with that, I'm going like, to let you go. I hope this made sense. Um, thank you again for all of your beautiful support. And um, have a beautiful day whenever you come. And um, again, I love you. And I'm going to send you huge hugs. Big, big hugs. Mm, lots of kisses. Lots of love. You got this. All right? You got this. All right. All right, Saji. Until next time. All my love.